Hi guys. Um, so tonight, I'm gonna show you guys on uh, what I do for the last uh, four or five days of incubation for uh, chicken eggs. Um, it's a little dark in here right now, but you guys will see in a little bit why I turned the lights off. I'm gonna flip my camera around here. All right guys, I'm gonna show you guys something really cool here. Um, this is best in the dark, so what I usually do is when I'm candling eggs um, for the final um, hatch day, uh, you want to candle your eggs just so that way you can get rid of all the um, bad eggs, spoiled eggs, eggs that aren't developing. Um, otherwise, they could potentially explode in the incubator and cause all your other eggs to go bad. Um, so I always candle. I always candle in the dark because you can see much better. I'm going to show you guys the difference between an egg that's fertile and an egg that's not fertile, okay? So here I've got all my eggs that are on this automatic turner. So I'm not going to use this anymore for the last uh, week of incubation. Don't need this anymore um, just because they don't need to be turned anymore. They need to just be set on their side for the last four or five days of incubation before they hatch so that the checks can settle in into their position when they hatch, just like a human baby settles down. Um, all right, so we're gonna start candling eggs here. Let me show you guys the difference. All right, so you guys see this egg? You can see right through it. Okay, this means that this egg is not fertile um, or either the embryo died within the first couple days of the first or in the last couple weeks the eggs have been in the incubator for 16 days now so this egg has not developed a chicken site that's why you can see right through it so this one is gonna uh, be tossed out we're gonna take a look at this one okay so this one you cannot see through it so we know there's a chick growing in there here's the egg sac the egg sac is on the bigger end it is attached so there's a little gap, and that gap um, is going to widen up as the chick develops more. And you can tell the chick is formed in here. Um, you can tell there's just a little bit of ear space left at the other end right here where the chick is going to still develop for the last four or five days, okay? And there's the air sac. So we know this is a good egg. So you want to keep this one in the incubator. Alright, here's another good egg. You cannot see through it, so that means there's something in there. Hopefully a chicken. Alright, and the little ear sack. But also it's hard to see on my camera here. That's a good egg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine both of my incubators, take out the racks, combine them into one. Here's another good egg. You can see it it's developed and there's not much space left inside the egg. Just a little bit at the small end here. So I always do this just to make sure I weed out all the bad eggs. Another good one. Hopefully I don't have a lot of bad eggs in here. Here's a good one. So far it's looking really good. But like they say, don't count your eggs before the hatch. Here's another bad one. You can tell the chick kind of developed because there's a little bit of a dark spot in there. But it looks like the chick must have not fully developed or um, unfortunately has died. Um, and I can tell because all these eggs were set in the incubator the same day. So it's day 16. They have a four or five days left of growing and they should all be around the same size. This one. Um, must have not made it after the first week. You can tell there's a little bit of something forming, but it has not formed since then, so this one will be tossed. Here's a good one. You can clearly see the outline of a baby chick inside. The little bit of growing, growing room left, and the umbilical cord that's attached at the ear sac at the big end. Here's a bad one. Another bad egg. I was kind of skeptical about this hatch because um, I know it's March, still kind of cold out. Here's a good one. 
and uh, I wasn't sure if all these eggs would be good because I some of them I got to the coop in time some of them I didn't and some of them might have been frozen or too cold that they couldn't develop that was another good one by the way Here's another here's another bad one looks like it's you can see right through it hope you guys can see the differences like I can well here's another not good one There we go, here's a good one. You can see the form of the shape of the chicken side. So far, doing pretty good out of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 eggs so far. Um, only 5 have been bad, so. Or now there's 6. 6 out of 19 have been bad, so. Um, let's hope for a lot more developed ones. Like I said, it was early in the season. I usually don't start incubating eggs until April, May, um, just because I'm not always able to get out the, to the chicken coop every day. Um, so if the eggs are out in the cold for too long, they um, have potential to freeze. And with the cold weather we've been having this last couple of months, that very well might have caused um, a lot of these eggs to go bad. But a lot of them are good so far, so that's a good sign. And I still, they're still laying every day, so I still have lots and lots more opportunities this year. Oh, here's a bad one. Always make sure you wash your hands thoroughly before you candle eggs. Don't want any germs or anything on your hand to transfer into a chick that could potentially kill the chick in the last four or five days of incubation. So those last two are bad ones. Here's a good one. Bad one. Good one. You can see the outline of the chick. See that? It's like a little... You can see that. Nope, it's a bad one. <laughs> Make sure to throw them out right away, otherwise these eggs will stink up really quick. You do not want that. Alright guys, I'm going to finish up here, um, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm done. 